Bosh. I know, but I, oh, I feel so sorry for your wife. I am I know so she sorry. Has, no, she's, sure she's, 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 allergic, she's, allergic, she's allergic. She's allergic. She's allergic. She's allergic. She's allergic to those. So I won't be. I won't be. And she know I don't like it. But I don't think she could fix it anyway if she tried. If she tried it. Right. So, can you cook common rice? Well, yeah, common rice is something. Common dough is a problem for me. I, I'm not. Yeah, uh, and and I know rice, yeah. common rice is not something most Bahamian women can cook. They usually t ask their grandmothers oh, or their mothers gosh. to cook it for them, and then they carry it to their boyfriend and husband and say, I am sure. "See this big dish what I have bought for you." <laughs> I am sure we have some women in here, in this country, especially in Zedanet, who could cook a good crab and rice. I am sure. I, I can hear Agatha saying she okay. is the so, expert at so, crab uh, and so rice. So, so Sunday, this is a challenge I'm going to give out. <laughs> Remember when the COVID first started and everybody was sending out those pictures with those food? On Sunday, I want everybody to take a picture of their crab and rice where they're giving their fathers <laughs> and, and WhatsApp it to 4770546. Let's see who will have the best And then we'll show it on right. Monday. Yeah, and no, then we'll give a prize. But talking about prize, <laughs> uh, Janae's Uniform Center once again. Uh, mm. Trivia this morning, let's put it up on the screen. How long has Janae's Uniform Center been located on Chesapeake Road? Nice the bag. number to call is 502-3870. And you can That's win nice. yourself a nice yeah, school bag nice. here. Like the, nice. Make me want to go back to school once again. Nice the school St. John's? Bag. Yeah, 502 oh 3870. <laughs> and speaking about school, Des Mothers out there on the streets. We had some rain last night. How are things out there this morning, Des? Well, Charles and LaDon, I'm here at the Goodman's Bay Roundabout. A pretty active scene, a number of motorists heading to their various destinations. We have a number of joggers and Fitness uh, bloggers here uh, are here in Goodman's Bay, getting uh, ma making sure they stay fit. And as we head into the week, uh, there are a number of things that you need to be aware of. Of course, traffic police telling me that speed remains a major issue, a major concern for them uh, throughout the streets of the capital. And uh, traffic police have issued over 200 tickets to for motorists for speeding. So it, it remains a very paramount issue, a very uh, um, uh, issue of concern for traffic police. Also, want to remind motorists, you know, we are in a rainy season, so ensure that your windshield wipers are working, make sure your headlights are working, and let's stay safe through the streets, all right? Also, concern are motorcyclists not wearing helmets and not having adequate insurance. So that's a major concern. If you're a motorcyclist, uh, you want to be prepared and uh, be cautious as you traverse through the streets uh, of the capital, right? So let's have a great week. Remind you to obey the rules of the road. Make sure that you adhere to the COVID-19 protocols, social distancing, a major concern. So let's keep safe. Charles and Ladon, back to you. Thanks a lot. That's look wet on the outside. 75 degrees here, waking up to wind south, southeast at 2 miles per hour humidity 100 percent a streaming tropical moisture coupled with deep layered traffic extending across florida will continue to trigger bouts of unsettled weather over the northwest bahamas meanwhile a weakening ridge of high pressure will sustain moderate breezes across the island chain today for the northwest bahamas where the mostly cloudy hot and the bahamas public scattered showers and thunderstorm showers may be locally heavy and thunderstorm strong to severe at times for the central and southeast Bahama, variably cloudy and hot with isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly over portions of the central Bahamas. Your daytime high temperature, 91 degrees Fahrenheit, overnight low 73. As we look ahead to Tuesday, weather cloudy, hot and humid with scattered showers and widely scattered thunderstorms, mainly in the northwest and portions of the central Bahamas. Daytime high temperature, 87, low night at 79. Wednesday, mostly cloudy, temperature reaching 88 in the day and 79 at night. The Office of the Prime Minister announcing amended emergency powers COVID-19 orders for North and Central Andros and Cat Island starting today. The mandatory lockdown in those islands ended at 5 o'clock this morning. With that in mind, a new curfew is now in effect. It will run from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. in North and Central Andros and 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. in Cat Island. Residents of Exuma and Eleuthera, including Harbor Island, should note that an amendment to the emergency powers order will also permit restaurants on those islands to operate beyond the 9 p.m. restriction. 
The island of New Providence crossing the 9,000 mark in positive COVID-19 cases, according to the Ministry of Health's latest release. Out of the 40 new cases reported, 34 were generated here in the capital, three on Grand Bahama, two on Andros, and one in Bimini and Cat Key. The total count nationwide now stands at 12,199, with 743 of them active. Five of the other newly confirmed cases, rather, here in New Providence and one from Grand Bahama have a travel history within the past 14 days. 22 women and 18 men make up the latest cases. Hospitalizations back up to 38, 34 moderately ill and four persons detained in the intensive care unit. There are 26 new recovered cases. The death toll remains at 237. The latest COVID-19 vaccine numbers are out as of June 11th. More than 68,000 persons have been vaccinated. Over 50,000 have received one dose, while almost 18,000 have been fully vaccinated. The country's first cruise visitors since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic vacationing in our family islands this weekend. They left New Providence on Saturday aboard the Royal Caribbean International's Adventurer of the Seas. Royal Caribbean is proud to be home porting here in the Bahamas, as well as sustaining its 50-year relationship. Prior to sailing, a ceremony was held with Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, indicating that home porting has the potential to make a significant economic impact in this country. Each year, Royal Caribbean ships bring some 2 million passengers to the islands of the Bahamas. Perfect day at Coco Key is Royal Caribbean's flagship vacation paradise established in the Berry Islands. The cruise line is also the main principle in the acquisition and future development of the Grand Lucayan and affiliate investments. And Royal Caribbean's plans for a beach break, break destination on Paradise Island, namely Royal Beach Club, includes a $50 million investment that will generate an extra $26 million per year in visitor spending. Detectives here in the capital busy over the weekend. It all started around 9 o'clock Friday evening with an incident at a bar located on Martin Street and Blue Hill Road. Press liaison officer ASP Audley Peters was on the scene and provided these details. A lone gunman entered the establishment and fired shots at the first patrons on the inside, injuring two persons. Emergency medical service visited the scene and pronounced the male um, lifeless and the female was transported to the, the hospital. A police-involved shooting also taking place in the Sunshine Park area. It all unfolded when an elderly female resident was accosted and assaulted by a man at the Blue Hill Road Farmer's Market around 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon. A group of persons from the community followed this man, approached him. He, in turn, being armed with a shotgun, shot one of them and then ran into an abandoned building. Officers responded to this location and uh, entered the property. Gunfire was exchanged between the man and the officers, resulting in that man being fatally wounded. Police also need your help finding 27-year-old Travis Hebron of Dorset Street. He is wanted for attempted murder. Hebron is said to have a dark brown complexion with a medium build. If you have any information, you can contact the Criminal Investigations Unit. Two adult males have also been arrested for possession of dangerous drugs over in Exuma. They were both transported to the capital last evening. They observed a Piper aircraft flying at a low altitude in the area of Steventon. The officers then observed two males dropping an item, two items rather, out of the aircraft. The aircraft continued north on to Staniel Key where it landed. While at Staniel Key, Two males were arrested. A count of the items was done, and 59, 58 packages of cocaine were discovered, and they have a street value of about $1,161,000. Those suspects and drugs were brought into New Providence, and we expect that they be charged later this week. 
Well, the Brooms were out last night in the Mile High City and this thunder was down by DeAndre Aiden on an explanation point on the Phoenix Suns series sweep of the Denver Nuggets. DA had 12 points and 7 rebounds as the Suns took game 4, 125-118. Phoenix now awaits the win of the Utah Jazz Los Angeles Clippers Western Conference Series to see who they'll play in the finals of the Western Conference. The Jazz currently up 2-1 in that series. And when we come back, Bahamians making a mad dash for the COVID-19 vaccine. You're watching The Morning Edition. Hey, wait! What you, what you doing, buddy? Don't jump! Don't jump, you all right? I'm not so stressed out. I could use a massage. Oh, no, 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 don't look at me. I don't do them things. Why don't you check out the ZNS Shopping Network? They may be able to help you with something like that. You think they have something for that? Yeah, man, for sure. For New Day Spa? That's the place where the gas them is rub you down and fill you up. <laughs> <laughs> I am buying this coupon for the hot stone massage. For New Day Spa, it is. I'm going. Hey, look here. Wait for me. I roll it with you. <laughs> Log on to www.znsshoppingnetwork.com. Select the island of your choice and shop anywhere, anytime. A local fund, Junkanoo Group, wants to see things back to normal, so they want their fellow Junkanooers to stay the course. <laughs> D Mac and Tony have gotten their jobs fully vaccinated and the Sting Junkanoo organization with a rush to encourage all Junkanooers to do the same. And it's all about Junkanoo, it's all about the culture of the Bahamas and guess what, if we want to see Junkanoo happen again, there are some things that are going to have to happen. And so we are trying to make sure, encourage everybody, make sure get vaccinated so that we can get back to normalcy in this country and that's what it's all about, rush for the vaccine. Andrew Pinder and the group 100% behind the job and wants everyone on board. I'm trying to encourage national growth. The acronym of Sting is striving to get a national unity. And it's important that we all try and build that same unity and try and rush to get vaccinated. It's very important for the normality to come back to our country. So we can have junk canoes, so we can have our tourists come back and enjoy our culture. You know, it's just about everyone right now understanding that, hey, it's important for the country to move forward, that we rush to and, and make sure that everyone, each and every one of us, become vaccinated. Sting is a community-minded group. Travel and events part of their agenda. Group member Gary Super Johnson says getting the vaccine was a no-brainer for him. We need to be vaccinated in order to travel. And we need everybody, if they want to rush this year, you know, the uh, Chonkano community is probably about 15 to 20,000 persons. So you can imagine if we can encourage those that amount of persons to be vaccinated. Then that'll be a big step and a big, big advancement into rushing this year. But we miss it, Bishop, because, uh, you know, every every day, man, these guys are upset. That's why we all went and get vaccinated. Because we want, we want to encourage other people to do the same thing because it's, it's hard to, 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 to miss, to be home for Christmas and New Year's and don't participate in our culture. And we have already missed one junk in a week. Could you imagine? I mean, I, I, I've seen folks that have withdrawn from it. Like, how, how do you, how do you, could, could you ever imagine not even experiencing junk in a week? And now, we're not, it, there's a chance that we, not, we may not see junk in a week again for this year. So we would want to make sure that we are vaccinated. We want to make sure that all the protocols are in place. So we need to make sure that everything, in terms of safety, and we have to look from an international standpoint too as well. Our guests that are coming in, we need to make sure that they are safe as well. So it's all about getting vaccinated. It's all about to make, making sure that all of those things are in place so that we can get back to normalcy. And this thing is all about getting back to normalcy. I love this thing in DMAC and Gary Super Johnson. They're nice. always exciting. They're always, yeah. they, the trendsetters, what they did, <laughs> and they think other John Canoe groups will follow, uh, try to get their members vaccinated. I, I really miss John Canoe. I really yeah, want to get out yeah. there. Uh, you're not. 
I'm not vaccinated. I, I, I'm, no. I'm fully no. vaccinated. No. I feel no. like I put on an extra 20 pounds. I'm sleeping good. You, know, you, you look like you lost some, some weight. That's good. You and, you and Desmond still doing your Yeah, your we're going to do us. Yeah, if the rain, if the rain yeah. eases up, I wasn't able to get out there because it's been raining a lot. So mm -hmm. I haven't been able to exercise as much as I wanted to. We're going to take you along. Uh, I don't know about that. But anyway, job hunting can be emotionally draining, especially if the search lasts for a very long time. But as our Catherine Gomez tells us, one business is helping thousands of individuals find jobs, apply for scholarships, internships, and much more. So, are you looking for a job? Sign up on 242jobs.com today. Job hunting can be a very rigorous process, but the number one job site in the Bahamas, 242 Jobs, makes the hunt easy for those in search of their dream job. Marketing director Precious Thompson explains. The website was designed with the sole purpose to allow persons to find, to find employment, um, not just find it, but also apply to employment online. So they can do that at home, on their mobile phone, whether they're at the beach. It was designed to be, you know, an online tool because, you know, um, trying to find what jobs are out there can be challenging. People are relying on posting here or word of mouth or looking in the newspaper. But with 242jobs.com, you can go directly online, you can apply, and um, you can find your next job. 242 Jobs allows companies to feature available job positions and the unemployed to find the right job tailored just for them. The platform even showcases a range of work from home jobs. Since COVID hit, as you can see, there's no more of the usual nine to five um, or persons are going into the work. A lot of persons are now working from home. And so what we needed to do was now bridge the gap on the type of offerings that we have on the website. And so we now accommodate a lot more remote positions. And a lot of these remote positions are not just in the Bahamas, but they are all around the world. And so what we're trying to do is scale up our inventory of remote work um, so that we can, you know, reduce the, the level of unemployment that we have right now in the country. And so that is a big push for us right now. And, you know, we're hoping to help as many persons as possible. And the digital platform has significant benefits. Well, if you're looking for employment, if you're looking for an internship, if you're looking for scholarships, because the website also allows for persons to directly apply to scholarships for schools um, globally. Um, I mean, we are the number, like I say, we are the number one job site. And so everything is all in one place. And so it's up to you. I mean, as an individual or person, if you are looking for these things, you know, we have provided that resourceful tool, um, which is easily accessible because all you got to do is go online www.242jobs.com and everything is at the click of your finger. Thanks a lot, Catherine. And as we head to the break, we take a look back at today in Bahamian history. On June 14, 1909, electric lights were turned on in the main streets of New Providence. This was made possible two years earlier by the passage of a bill to provide electricity for the city of Nassau. Also on June 14, 1963, the Shirley Street Theater was officially opened with a showing of Mutiny on the Bounty. Special souvenir programs were issued to the invited guests. We said when getting into the water, go feet first, always swim with a buddy, and always have a designated water watcher. But before we send you off to have fun, here's one last piece of advice. Learn how to swim. Besides being an excellent exercise option and a super fun hobby, swimming is a basic life skill that can save your life. Knowing how to maneuver in the water will help if there's ever an emergency. Learning how to swim includes learning how to float. Drowning is silent, so when you learn how to float and you stop panicking, your, air, your face is out of water at least, then you can get air and you can start to relax and you can regain your composure to start to swim and at least call for help. Crystal Darling, ZNS Digital Media. Do you know that adherence is more than taking medications? It calls for you to stick to the medical regimen as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Please keep your lab appointments as these determine the effects medications are having on your body. 
follow-up doctor's appointments are necessary, as this is the time when the doctor performs a physical examination and discusses any test results and any concerns or issues you may have with your course of treatment. Sticking to prescribed diet and exercise regimens can improve medication effectiveness and contributes to overall health and well-being. Make a commitment today to be adherent to your medication regimen and practice healthy living. This message has been brought to you by the Bahamas AIDS Foundation with funding provided by PEPFAR, USAID Local Capacity Initiative Small Grant. Later this year, ground is expected to be broken for the construction of two new comprehensive schools, one in Anagua and the other in High Rock East End, Grand Bahama, at a cost of some $15 million. And $20 million is budgeted for school repair projects this year. Donquel Jones taking a leave of absence from the Connecticut Sun to play for the Bosnian national team in the women's Euro basket tournament. Jones missed her first game with the Sun yesterday and assured us they were blown out 89-66 by the Seattle Storm. The front runner for the WNBA MVP award is expected to miss between four and six games with the Sun to defending, depending on how far Bosnia makes it. Now Bosnia starts play on Thursday against Belgium and Jones is looking forward to getting play underway. I've been in well with the team. Um, as you guys know from like our previous results, we get along quite well. Um, and the plan is to win a lot of basketball games and to represent the country well. Yeah, I mean, I understand that um, Bosnia and Herzegovina hasn't been here for a long time. And so I'm excited to be a part of it. But um, it's more about us as a team, um, just really being around each other, enjoying each other, um, and playing hard for each other. Bayman Heritage celebrated at Lone Depot Park on Saturday as the Miami Islands took on the Atlanta Braves. Jazz decked out in his behemoth colors before the game. He finished the game 0 for 3 with a run scored in a 3 for 11 in the series with the two RBIs and two runs scored as the Marlins took two of three. Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Aram Lewis, was in Miami to celebrate with Jazz while also t talking to Marlins officials about the possibility of bringing spring training to the 2 for 2. The NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships closed out over the weekend in Eugene, Oregon. Denisha Anderson with the best finish at Mount Bahamas. She helped the Florida Gators to a fourth place finish in the women's 4 by 40 meter relay. They clocked 3 minutes 26.31 seconds. Megan Moss and the Kentucky Wildcats also in that race. They were eighth in 3 minutes 28. Point six a both Anderson and Moss attaining All-American status. In the men's triple jump, produced Tamar Green earning second team All-American honors, finishing 30th, popping 52 feet even. Arkansas's Laquan Nan was 17th with a best of 51 feet 7 inches. Meantime, in the women's triple jump, Washington State's Charisma Taylor was an All-American honorable mention, finishing 18th, 43 feet 1 and a half. Iowa Serena Brown was 10th in the discus, 187 feet 2 inches, and that was good enough for second team All-American as well. And after the break, a new mural graces downtown. Hi, I'm Dr. Pinder. During this global pandemic, we ask for you to be responsible. As we fight the COVID-19 virus together, we would like to encourage you to do the following. Wash your hands. Cover your mouth and nose with a flex elbow or tissue when coughing and sneezing. Practice social distancing by staying six feet apart. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. And if you must go out, wear a mask. We stay here for you. Please stay home for us. To those of you on the front line, we salute you as we continue this fight together. This message has been brought to you by the Ministry of Health in conjunction with GD Media Solutions and this television station. ZNS is everywhere you are when you download the new ZNS app. Watch our live channel to keep up with what's going on in the nation. News updates, we've got you covered. Tune into our radio stations with just a swipe. On the road, on the go, we're here with you. Available for download on the App Store and the Google Play Store.
Yes, sir. What you saying, bro? Why wow, everything cool? Right here, waking dead hot. What you doing for lunch? Are you catching me here checking out the ZNS shopping network site? I you looking at this out to see deal? Yeah. How do one go? For thirty dollars, you get a fifty dollar coupon. Twenty percent off fish at the stand, plus you get ten dollars in minutes. Man, you can't beat that. Well, out to see it is. Log on to www.zennsshoppingnetwork.com. Select the island of your choice and shop anywhere, anytime. Her talent and work is making waves on the local and international scene, even mesmerizing officials from the Ministry of Tourism. This morning, Desmond Saunders introduces us to mural artist Tiffany Rutherford. 18-year-old Tiffany Rutherford has become the new internet sensation. Her amazing work as a mural artist has created a buzz on social media. Rutherford says she loves the attention. I started uh, about two years ago when I did a Miami Dolphins mural for someone who I was recommend who got my contacts. And then from there, I've just been doing art on the side. And then for the Kentucky mural, someone who I work with, my mentor, he recommended me to them. Her work also getting props from tourism officials, the young artist painting a mural on the British colonial Hilton building in the downtown district. This came about because the Ministry of Tourism recognized me to do a piece of work. It depicts the beauty and like the flora and fauna of Nassau and not even Nassau but the other islands as well. And then we, I incorporated the swinging aspect so it's like you're swinging and interacting with all the national elements as well. Art has also been a lifelong passion for the University of the Bahamas architecture student. The artist credits part of her success to her 10th grade art teacher at Kingsway Academy. Grade 10, when I did BGCSE drawing, my art teacher, Mr. Bob, he introduced me to this type of drawing style, and then from there, that's what it blossomed into. She has this advice for young, aspiring artists. Don't worry about what others say. If they say that you can't get move into the certain style because is already overpopulated once you do your best and then you try hard enough and do your style and focus on your craft so the right person will notice you eventually and don't ever give up just because your journey is taking longer than someone else's own we have so much talent in so this much country talent, oh man that's she's awesome 19 years old and mm -hmm. doing that already so you know the future is definitely bright for but we have a question the question was from Janice how long have they been in existence? Mm -hmm. And the winner is Antonia Carroll. Mm -hmm. She correct. A young student, a young student, yeah. 2006. Mm -hmm. Wow, Janice, she's going to get the bag. I love that bag. So it's she's, a nice she, bag. She, she, she won, she won this, this uh -huh. lovely bag so she can pick this bag up from here at the BC. And the answer was 14 years. Janice has been in business for 14 years. Yeah, Chesapeake Road. Yeah. Nice bag you wanted. I love it, that. But yeah. She's got a nice, nice gift. <laughs> And be sure to stay tuned into the ZNS Network for news as it happens, TV and radio updates throughout the day. Then you can tune into the Northern Edition and the Bahamas Tonight at 7. And that's a wrap for us this morning for the entire team. Y'all have a great day now. Have a great morning, everyone. Show.